The group of seven unsecured banks seeking to be carved out of Highflux's debt moratorium did not get its go-ahead from the Singapore High Court today. The approval would have allowed the group to file an application to have Highflux and Hydrochem placed under judicial management. At the same time, the court has given Highflux a five-day extension to its debt moratorium till May the 29th from the original date of May 24th. Brandon Tonotto tells us more. A credible case made by Highflux's lawyers led the Singapore High Court to dismiss the carve-out application on Tuesday. Highflux's lawyers argued that should the application by the unsecured banks seeking judicial management for Highflux and Hydrocam be approved, it will have adverse impact on the company's restructuring efforts and ongoing projects. One analyst agrees that the likelihood of such projects being completed would be at risk. If the judicial management coming in, there will be some risk factors of the continuity of many of the projects. Uh, first of all, I think the priority of the JM is to restructure the debt. And I think they are also uh, kind of uh, obligated to, you know, uh, while they are being independent, they also have to uh, cater to the interests of uh, the stakeholders, particularly the creditors. The group is collectively owed $648.7 million. However, Justice Aidit Abdullah has given the group the liberty to file the application again, based on Highflux's restructuring process and the fact that things can change. Meanwhile, Highflux will have to file an affidavit by May 24 to provide an update on the restructuring process, respond to allegations made by its unsecured working group of financial creditors, and have a proposal on conditions the company must fulfill. This is if Highflux wishes to apply for a further extension to its moratorium when it appears before the court again on May 29. This comes as Highflux races to secure the $400 million lifeline from its latest potential investor, UAE utility company Utico. All in, this latest development comes after the restructuring agreement between Highflux and its former would-be white knight, SM Investments, was called off last month.